What is going on everybody? Tyler Brandt back here with another video and in today's video we are going to continue to talk about what we talked about last week and that of course was the final thoughts on the Patriots roster going into the 2020 regular season. At this point we're pretty much less than two weeks away. Week one against the Miami Dolphins that's almost we're pretty much on to Miami at this point of training camp but to end last week we talked about the offense headed away from camp and away from the padded practices portion and into the regular season. So we're going to follow that up with the defensive side of the ball and the special team side of the ball, of course, headed out of padded practices and into the regular season. Now, again, this isn't going to be, you know, cookie cutter, nice stuff. This, you know, there's some, maybe a little bit of harsh stuff in here, but it's to me the truth of what New England is and what that, you know, what they look like headed out of padded practices. So, without any further ado, let's jump into it. The final thoughts that I have on the New England Patriots headed into the 2020 regular season. We'll start at the front of the defense, and of course, that is the defensive line. Now, this is a group that I'm fairly confident in. I'm also kind of intrigued in some parts, but we'll start with the interior part of the defensive line. And I think that Lawrence Guy is probably the mainstay and the anchor of that interior part of the line. And he'll be fine. I think another good year, a productive year for Lawrence Guy headed into 2020. And I, I think that's the same thing with Adam Butler. Adam Butler will probably be okay. Now, I don't think he'll be on the field nearly as much as someone like Lawrence Guy. He is kind of a pass rushing presence, but he has had trouble defending the run. So I don't think he'll be an every down player, but between both Lawrence Guy and Adam Butler, the interior part of that line should be pretty good. Moving outside, both Chase Winovich, who will be at the end of that line, and on the other side, John Simon. I think those are probably two of the strongest parts of the defensive line outside of Lawrence Guy. Winovich seems poised to take the next step in this role in 2020 as New England's primary pass rusher really he's you know got a ton of personality he's a really good dude he's a very good player he had a very productive rookie year in a pretty small sample size so I think he's beginning to grasp the offense he he didn't have a fantastic camp but he looks like he's you know starting to understand more and and he's going to have naturally a more expanded role in this defense now, the other guy on the other side, that, of course, will be John Simon, who's been here for a little bit. If you don't know who he is already, he's one of, he's not always making the flashy plays. He's probably the most consistent member of that defensive line. Again, he's not making these superstar huge plays, but he's always setting the edge and doing a very good job. Within the scheme, he's always getting to the pass and disrupting the pass. He's very, very consistent, and I think... He'll probably, without guys like Van Noy and Jamie Collins coming down from the linebacker spot, he'll probably be another person with an expanded role and more opportunities to produce, especially from a pass rushing side of looking at it. So if you don't know John Simon, get to know him because I think he's going to be a big part of this Patriots defense in 2020. Other guys, you know, that I think will probably end up having some decently productive seasons, Shalik Calhoun will be somebody that makes it on this defensive line, both as a special teamer and a defensive player. I think one of the more interesting things to see is Derek Rivers and Dietrich Wise, two players that have a lot of pop, have always looked very good, but haven't had opportunities, whether it be to injuries or just not being able to carve out a role. Well, I think there's only going to be room for one of those two. I think Dietrich Wise has the edge just because he's been a little bit healthier than Rivers, and Dietrich Wise at least right now, is probably their best one-on-one -on -one man beater, like beat the guy right across from you and get to the quarterback guy. Now, he's been very limited, and he hasn't really popped yet, at least for what New England wanted him to, but I think he makes his role because I think he's going to be able to have opportunities to rush the passer, and I think that he can present just a, I'm going to beat the guy across from me and get to the quarterback, which I don't think New England has one of those predominantly ready to pop just yet, and I think Wise can be that guy. And taking the next level back on this defense, let's talk about the linebackers. Now, the linebackers, to me, are probably the biggest question mark on this team headed into 2020. We know Juwan Bentley should probably at least be at the same level he's been at in the first part of his career and when he had snaps last year. So even if he doesn't take a step, Juwan Bentley's still a good player. I personally expect him to take the next step or two in his career and to kind of step into this expanded role, especially without Dante Hightower there. So I have higher expectations for Juwan Bentley. I think he'll be okay. He didn't have a great camp, but 
he didn't have a bad camp. He just didn't really take, he didn't really make a lot of super big plays. He just kind of, you know, did what he had to do, which is fine. I think to me the biggest role, especially early on on this group of linebackers, is going to be Brandon Copeland. I think that he's going to be the guy that maybe has to take Hightower's role mentally in this group, especially on the field. He's kind of been around the league. He has a very good understanding of how the scheme works and, and what different schemes and what different types of defenses that New England's going to run, where to put guys to be in the best spot and how to execute the best. I think that he's going to have really the biggest brain, of course, of knowing what to do on that linebacking core, especially, again, early on in the season. So I, I'm excited for Copeland. He's got a lot of NFL experience. I think he'll end up being a bigger part of this linebacking group than we all realize. Now, the last three guys on this team that I think will have some sort of an impact defensively, that's, of course, Josh UJ, Anthony Jennings, and Cash Malua. Now, I think all three of these guys are very young. They still have holes in their game, although they're very good athletically. And I think they all have chances to be big parts of New England going forward in their careers. However, with that being said, I think a lot of the issues they'll have is mentally. Josh UJ, I think, will have trouble with some run concepts. Anthony Jennings, I don't think he's really practiced enough to get quite a firm grasp. And Cash Malou has made a couple nice plays, but I think a lot of the plays that they all have made, including him, have been athletically. So I think they're a little short mentally because they're rookies, but I think that they will have some sort of impact, of course, positively, hopefully, for this defense. So finally, the last group on the field to talk about, at least on the defensive side of the ball, that is, of course, the defensive backs, both the cornerbacks and the safeties. So I expect this group to be at the top of the league. Again, if not one, then two or three. Gilly coming back. We know Gilly is going to be great. J.C. Jackson had a great camp. It sounds like he's very confident headed into the season. Jonathan Jones will be great. Jason McCourty will be very good when he's needed to, you know, really perform. So I think that part of the defensive backfield will be really, really fine and great. And I think Devin McCourty should still be great. Even if he's lost a little bit physically, mentally, he's as sharp as a tack. And I think that he'll be excellent back there. Missing Chung, I think mentally could hurt this defense a little bit. But physically, I think Kyle Duggar brings a ton to the table. He'll, he'll get his fair share of snaps. I think he's earned them in camp. And Terrence Brooks will also probably split that share of snaps that Chung leaves behind by opting out. Now, the other safety on this team that I... I Thought may have had a role would have been someone like Adrian Phillips. I don't think he's going to make the final 53. I could be very wrong on this. I just think between camp injuries that he had and just not putting enough out there, I just don't think that there was enough time and in this season that he's going to be on the team. And beyond those reasons too, Juwan Williams, the second round pick from last season, he is working with the safeties and it's been brought up a few times his versatility. So I think that he will stay on this roster and be maybe like a hybrid safety cornerback kind of fit into one of those two holes. And lastly, as a unit, the special team unit. Now, most of this I think will be fine. Slater is still there. Justin Bethel is still there. Jake Bailey is still there. So punting and, and, you know, guys on the field for the special team for kickoff and punts, I think that'll be fine. Just as good as it always is. Now, I've already brought it up in a video past on this channel, but the kicking game has not improved at all. In the, the scrimmage Friday that was in Gillette, Roar, Ross, Roar Wasser, excuse me, missed kicks. Nick Folk missed kicks. It's still a mess. Going into the season, I have zero confidence on anything north of 35 yards that New England will make with any sort of regularity. And quite frankly, even closer than 35 yards, I'm really not confident, just being honest about it. Now, the problem with drafting a kicker is the Patriots spend a fifth-round pick on Roar Rohrwasser, so you can't just cut him, or else you're just setting a fifth-round pick on fire. So there's an expanded practice squad. If he's not ready, does he go down to the practice squad? Does New England carry two kickers into the regular season? I hope that's not the truth. I think Roar Wasser ends up going down to training camp and hopefully improves a little bit more. I just think he's too inconsistent. Not that I think Nick Folk at this stage of his career is much better. But again, I'm not confident in the kicking game. But other aspects of the special teams I think will still be very, very elite. Before we wrap this video up, 
I just kind of want to give you an idea of what the next couple weeks are headed into the regular season on the channel. I think the next few videos we're going to do, we're probably going to break down game by game schedule. That'll be in a few parts. I'm kicking around doing a final 53 roster prediction offense and defense. And then we'll start, like Bill Belichick said this earlier this week, he said that, you know, we'll implement a few things. But realistically, by the end of the week, we'll be preparing for the Miami Dolphins. So I think you'll get a few videos on schedule prediction, you know, maybe our final 53. And then the videos that you'll see as we get into week one will be pertaining to the Miami Dolphins. That's at least the plan. So we've moved out of training camp. We've made it through free agency. We're at the doorstep of the 2020 NFL regular season. And now's when the content gets very, very fun. So with that being said, we're almost to 100 subscribers. Share with a Patriots fan. Share with a friend. You know, spread these videos out. Let's grow this family. I appreciate every single one of you that subscribe. Once again, I'm Tyler Brandt. Follow me on Twitter at the Tyler Brandt on Instagram at Talking Pats. And again, chop it up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about these notes for the defense. Chop it up anywhere with me. I'd love to talk football with you, especially as the regular season starts. But until next time, once again, I'm Tyler Brandt. Be safe, be good, and I'll catch you on the next video.